Hey, Chef Kids, Auntie Laurel here today, and we are going to do the dissolving candy cane experiment. And I gave you guys candy canes inside of your mail package this month, and so we're gonna use that for this experiment. I know a lot of times during the holiday season, we want to eat sweets, but instead of eating them this season, we're going to experiment with them. So let's get started. For this experiment, you will need three candy canes, three cups of water with different temperatures, hot, cold, and room temperature, and a timer. You can use a stopwatch, a phone, or a clock. So our dissolving candy cane experiment is so fun and easy. And it is not only sweet and colorful, but it also is going to teach us some chemistry. So what we wanna start off first with is a hypothesis. So first we need to make a hypothesis. And our hypothesis, say that 10 times fast, our hypothesis is how the experiment is going to turn out or a good educated guess on how we think the experiment is going to turn out. So what do we think is going to happen with our water and our candy canes? And you can write down what you think on your sheet right here. So we went ahead and we labeled all of our experiment with our hot water, our cold water, our room temperature water. And we already have the room temperature one ready to go. So now we just need to put our hot and our cold water in. What do you think will happen if we put a candy cane in hot water? Will it dissolve faster or slower than in cold water? And what about room temperature water? Write down your answers on your experiment guide that you received in the mail. So now we have our hot water all filled and it is hot our cold water right here and then our room temperature water and we are ready with our candy canes so i'm going to cut them and put them in and we also cut them open and put them in and then we're going to time how long everything takes to dissolve now let's test our hypothesis start by placing a candy cane into one of the cups of water we're going to start with the hot water Make sure the candy cane is fully submerged into the water. Then start the timer and watch what happens. Do you see the red stripes on the candy cane disappearing? That means the candy cane is dissolving in the water. When the red and green stripes are gone, stop the timer and write down how long it took. Chef Kids, make sure to write down how long that it took for the candy cane to dissolve inside of each of the temperatures of water. And you can do that right on your guide that you received for the dissolving candy cane experiment. I'm gonna write my time down. Next, repeat the same steps with the other two cups of water. Put a candy cane in each cup and time how long it takes for the red stripes to dissolve. Don't forget to write down the results on your experiment guide. Finally, let's compare our results and see if our hypothesis was correct. Which cup of water dissolved the candy cane the fastest? Which one was the slowest? How do the results match with your guesses? Did you notice any patterns? So the science behind this experiment is that the candy canes are made out of sugar and sugar, which is sucrose, breaks down in water because of the molecules inside of the sugar. Water can break down the bonds of the sugar molecules and make them dissolve. The hotter the water, the faster your candy cane is going to break down. The colder the water, the slower the candy cane is going to break down. Now, Chef Kids, I hope you enjoyed this science experiment this month. 
and make sure to follow us on Instagram. Please post pictures of your um, experiment that you did. Hashtag I'm a chef kid. And you can also try this experiment with different types of candy. Remember this holiday season, instead of eating the candy, we're gonna experiment with it. See you guys next month.